Purdue 20, Minnesota 10, and this was another one that I just completely whiffed on. Uh, brutal, brutal for Minnesota, who had just been, they looked like the Death Star, uh, honestly, to start off this season. They were smoking everybody. They looked fantastic. We'll go on and pull up the stats here. And in this game, uh, they went down 10 to nothing fairly quickly, uh, fought their way back to 10-10, and then Purdue wrapped it up late. Just unbelievable that Minnesota looked as bad as they did in this game. Uh, the average starting field position was the same. Minnesota only averaged five plays per drive to seven for Purdue. Um, they only averaged 28 yards per drive, and Purdue averaged 35. Like, what Purdue was able to do to Minnesota's running game, uh, we'll go on and, and move down here. Uh, yeah, 24 rushes for 54 yards for Minnesota. That is Brutal. Now, Mo Ibrahim did not play in this game, uh, so that may have had a lot to do with it. Uh, but Tanner Morgan looked awful. I mean, just awful. He, uh, it's not like Aiden O'Connell was great. He had two interceptions. He was 26 out of 39, less than 200 yards passing. Uh, he had no touchdowns. Like, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't like Aiden O'Connell just had some fantastic game. This was the Purdue defense. Uh, Tanner Morgan had three interceptions and was sacked twice. In this game, he was 18 out of 33, 257 yards, no touchdowns. Um, They could not get this thing going at all. Bryce Williams carried the ball uh, 11 times for 35 yards and a TD. Uh, Trey Potts, who has been great thus far this season, nine carries for 10 yards. Uh, They just, they could not figure it out. And of course, once they were behind, they had to throw the ball a little more than usual. So they made mistakes. I mean, it was just a, a brutal game for Minnesota. And I swear to you, we see this so routinely from the Gophers, where you think they're really, really good. And it was just the same thing last year. I mean, they smoked Colorado 30 to nothing, and you're thinking, okay, I mean, we might have something here. And and then they come back home and they lose to Bowling Green. Like, this is... Minnesota had smoked everybody, and then they lose at home to a Purdue team that's kind of banged up. And what what to make of it, right? I mean, it's just a weird, weird situation. Uh, let's, uh, let's read off the stats on this one. They... Uh, Purdue won... The yardage, 359 to 304. They won yards per play, 5.4 to 5.2. They won rushing, 160 to 47. Uh, they won drive points, 17 to nothing. Uh, Minnesota did win, or they did win third downs, uh, 33 to 29%. They missed a 28-yard field goal try. They had a fourth down failure. Uh, you're not supposed to, if you're Purdue, you're not supposed to be able to own the line of scrimmage that way against Minnesota, and yet they did. So... What do we make of Purdue at this point? Uh, the entire Big Ten West is 1-1 one and one other than Wisconsin, who is sitting at 0-2. Oh I have no idea about any of these teams anymore. I got no clue. Every week, it's something different with this bunch. Uh, I don't know what to think of Minnesota at this point, and I really don't know what to think of Purdue, who already took a loss to Penn State and took a loss to Syracuse, but now has a win on the road at Minnesota, who we thought was gangbusters. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.